Hi, it's Vicky here from Off The Hook For You and today I'm going to show you how to make a rectangle corner to corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a slip knot and make a number six and then go through the middle of the hole and I'm going to grab the end which is called my tail and the other end and I'm going to pull my hook through and I'm going to pull both ends together. This now gives you your slip knot. If you pull your working yarn, which is your long piece, if you pull that one up, it will cinch the loop onto your hook and make it tighter. Now what I'm going to do is hold my yarn. Everyone holds their yarn slightly differently, so I'll just show you how I do it. I go through my little finger, around, up and over the top, and then I hold it with my thumb and my forefinger here. What I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to chain six. So to chain, we go under the yarn and pull back through. That's one chain stitch. Under the yarn, pull back through. Two, three, four, five, six. Now what we're gonna do is work what is called a US double crochet. And we're gonna do this one in the third chain from the end. So I'm gonna count one, two, three along. So if you look at the bumpy bits, one, two, three. And I'm going to do a US double crochet. So for this, I go under with my hook. So I've got my yarn there. I go through the loop. I'm going to grab my yarn that's here. So I'm going to wiggle my hook to pull it back through. Three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to yarn over again, and I'm going to pull through the next two. That is one US double crochet. So to do it again, I'm going to go under with my yarn, through the next chain along, grab my yarn, pull it back through. Now I've got the three loops again. I'm going to go under with my yarn again, pull through two, under, pull through two. And then I'm going to do one more double crochet in the last chain in the last chain. So I'm going to go under, through, grab, three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is one square of the corner to corner. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain six up because I need to make a new block. So under, pull back through, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to do exactly the same as I did to make this block. I'm going to work in the third chain from the hook. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and I'm working in this one here. And I'm going to do a double crochet in each one along. So one, two, three. So yarn over, through, grab, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, under, through, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and the same again. Through two, Pull through two. So now I've got two blocks, but they don't look as they should do. So what I'm going to do is the one on the left, I'm going to flip it. You flip it up so it turns the other way. And what you're going to do is slip stitch to join in this bit here, which is your chain three gap. So you go through with your hook, grab your yarn, pull it back through, and then just one over the top of the other. So we're going to pull that through like that. Now I'm going to just chain three up to get to the height of the double crochet. One, two, three, and what I'm going to do is three more double crochet in this little gap, in the chain three gap. So under, through, grab, three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And do the same again. So I've got three double crochet. That's two, and one more. That gives you three, okay? One, and what we're going to do is chain up to get to the height. So that was one, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do it exactly the same as I've done in the other one, which is working the third chain from the hook. And I'm going to do three double crochet in here. So one, two, three. This gives you block number one of row three. Sort my yarn out. Gives you block number one of row three. So now what you need to do, because it's all there together again, we flip the left hand side so we can work in this gap here. So it's going like this. We flip it. We're going to slip stitch into here. 
and we're going to join up. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to do three double crochet in this gap again. So every block you make is made up of a chain three and three double crochet. Two, three. So that's the next block. So you've got, it's starting to look like steps. Row one, row two, row three, one, two. So the next one here, you're going to slip stitch to join, chain three up and three double crochet. That will give you row three done. So slip stitch to join, chain three up, and then we're going to three double crochet in here. Two. Three. So there's our steps. One, two, three. So this one is we're going to make another block on this side. I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in the third one from the hook, so this one here, sorry, this one here, we're going to do three double crochet. So we've done before one, two, three. Now what we're going to do is flip it again, flip it up, slip stitch into here, chain three, one, two, three, because that's the height of the double crochet, three double crochet in here, one, two, three, and the same on the next one, so slip stitch to join, chain three up, Three double crochet. And then what we're going to do is join to this one here. Now, in order to make this one a rectangle, if I wanted to make this a square, I'd carry on and do another block on here. So I'd chain three up, three double crochet along. Because I want to make this a rectangle, I've already got three here. One, two, three, and I've got four along this side. So what I'm going to do is slip stitch back over to move my yarn back over to this side here. So what I'm going to do is flip it round, and I'm going to slip stitch along the top. Just moving my yarn from where it's joined to where it needs to be. So now what I'm going to do is chain three because I want to do, I'm going to make this block here now, this one here. The chain three up, three double crochet, slip stitch to join, chain three up, three double crochet. Then I'm going to move my yarn back over to make the last block. So if you have a look, one, two, three, and a slip stitch to join in here, Chain three up, one, two, three, and do three more double crochet in here. One, two, three. I'm going to slip stitch to join. And now if we put it down flat, you can see the only block that I actually need to make in order to finish this is this one here. So I'm going to move my yarn back over by slip stitching, chain three up, and then three double crochet in there. So the rule is, if you want to make it bigger, you do a chain six and work in the third chain from the hook. And if you want to make it smaller, you have to slip, slip stitch back over and chain three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Slip stitch to join. So that there is now a rectangle, but what I'm going to do to make it neater is I'm going to stitch, slip stitch back over and then fasten off and me weave in my ends over here. So flip it round, slip stitch back over. One, two, three. I'm actually going to go into the chain three on this one. And then what I do is I would fasten off and weave in my ends on here. And that is how you make a rectangle rather than a square. You carry on increasing on one side and you just slip stitch over on the other side. Thanks. If you've enjoyed watching this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's off the hook for you. I hope to see you in more videos soon. Thanks.